James K. Polk was the 11th President of the United States, serving from 1845 to 1849. He was born on November 2, 1795, in Mecklenburg County, North Carolina, and grew up in a family of modest means. Despite this, he was well-educated and went on to study law at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Polk's political career began in the Tennessee State Legislature, where he served as Speaker of the House. He was then elected to the U.S. House of Representatives, where he quickly became known for his advocacy of westward expansion and territorial acquisition. He was a strong supporter of President Andrew Jackson and the Democratic Party, and his views on territorial expansion helped establish him as a key player in American politics. In 1844, Polk announced his candidacy for the presidency and ran on a platform that included westward expansion and the annexation of Texas. He was elected in a close race, defeating his opponent, Henry Clay. As president, Polk is best known for his expansionist policies and territorial acquisitions, which included the annexation of Texas and the Mexican-American War, which resulted in the acquisition of California and much of the Southwest. He also signed the Oregon Treaty with Great Britain, establishing the northern boundary of the U.S. with Canada. Polk's presidency was marked by significant economic growth and prosperity, but it was also criticized for his aggressive stance towards Mexico and the acquisition of new territories. Despite this, Polk is often credited with bringing about significant territorial expansion for the country during his presidency, which helped solidify the United States as a major world power. Polk was also known for his commitment to reducing the national debt and modernizing the country's infrastructure. He signed the Walker Tariff into law, which reduced tariffs and helped stimulate the economy, and he also established the Treasury Department's independence from the Second Bank of the United States. Despite his achievements, Polk's presidency was not without controversy. He faced criticism from abolitionists for his support of slavery and his role in the Mexican-American War which resulted in the death of thousands of soldiers. He was also criticized for his handling of the Oregon boundary dispute with Great Britain, which some saw as a failure to defend American interests. After leaving office, Polk retired to his home in Nashville, Tennessee, where he died of cholera on June 15, 1849, at the age of 53. Despite his controversial legacy, he is often remembered as one of the most effective presidents in American history and for his role in the country's territorial expansion. In conclusion, James K. Polk was a significant figure in American history, known for his presidency during a time of territorial expansion and economic growth. Despite his aggressive policies, he is remembered as one of the most effective presidents in U.S. history and is credited with bringing about significant territorial expansion for the country. His commitment to reducing the national debt and modernizing the country's infrastructure helped solidify the United States as a major world power.